Hey everybody, so today uh, we're going to look at pinning multiple um, elements in the project browser. Uh, I want to discuss this because it came up as an issue, so at my firm, one of the um, BIM specialists ran into an issue where they couldn't delete uh, sheets and you may think, okay, well, maybe it's because views are, are pinned on that sheet, which uh, after checking that wasn't the case. Plus, you can delete them even if they are pinned. Uh, it actually was because of the sheet becoming pinned. At some point, um, it got pinned, and it was causing them issues when they were trying to remove these sheets. And so, um, one of the causes, po possible cause causes for this is that somebody uh, a couple of weeks back was running some automations. Now, they happened to be pinning items, and they could have easily uh, pinned some sheets, uh, saved it, and didn't realize that. Um, and so... That probably was the cause. The only real way I could see this happening is through automation. There is a manual way of doing it, uh, which I will show you. But I'm what I think it happened was the automation. So I want to show you guys this just in case you've seen this or if it's happened to you. There was a Autodesk form. Uh, I don't have it open, but the post uh, was discussing the issue of sheets getting pinned, and it just said unpin them but didn't really discuss how you would do that. And so I'm going to show you guys how to find sheets that are pinned and then pin them and then sh talk, um, yeah, mostly just show you that and then I'll discuss some of the other elements that you can pin as well. So um, I think before I get into it though, something I that's helpful is that they used Revit Lookup to figure out if the sheet was pinned or not and so over here I'm gonna remove this search let's go down to sheets we'll see the different sheets here click on one of them and then um, if we go to add-ins we should be able to or actually not add-ins modify and then we can snoop this active selection so it doesn't look like it's selected but it is uh, and so if we snoop it this will pop up. Just give it a minute. If you haven't used Revit Lookup, uh, just search it uh, and then you can install it. Really powerful tool. I've discussed it many times on this channel. I've used it for various things. Um, so here is the different properties. We're going to look for the one that says is pinned. We'll just actually search it, which is a really cool new function or functionality in Snoo uh, the Revit Lookup. That's pretty powerful. So um, pin, pin, false. Okay, that's right. Uh, what we're going to do now is actually pin it and we'll pin it manually. So I'm going to go to manage ID of selection. I'll just copy this value. Then I'll go to select by ID, paste it in here, click OK. Now we have it selected. Kind of looks like nothing selected. You can see it over here, the properties. But if we go to modify snoop selection, uh, maybe somebody that knows this better than I can discuss this, but in both cases, uh, e like we had earlier the ID of the element, okay? But the way we selected it didn't allow us to pin it, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but this one, this way of selection does. So um, we can go to pin, see that it's false still. It's the same element, same element ID. If we close that, we actually can pin this now. All right, so now if we try to delete this, we'll see that we can't. And if we select on this sheet from this location here, you'll see we can't uh, unpin it. So that's what I mean is like, you have to select it by searching for the element ID. I don't know why that's the case. Um, but if we go to manage or not manage, Go back to uh, modify 
snoop the selection. I can show you real quick that this element is pinned. We can see that's true now. Now, I don't know why you would want to be able to pin these. I don't have an issue, um, or at least nobody comes to me about sheets being deleted all the time. That, to me, is more of a education opportunity, uh, training, if somebody is doing that. But if you wanted to control it, I guess you could, because you could pin that. And if it is pinned, you can't... Um, can't unpin it at least not it's not intuitive on how you would do that but here is the dynamo script so I want to show you how to just unpin it real quick we so we looked at pinning it manually uh, by selecting the ID and then pinning it this is how we can pin it through or pin it or unpin it through dynamo so pretty simple script for the most part um, if you've used dynamo then you know that this, actually I don't know why I froze that, there's no elements being plugged into it. I'm also gonna get rid of that code block. Uh, zero means false, one means true, but I think this is a lot clearer if we just use the Boolean node. All right, so if we run this, it's already set to automatic. So we'll see all the sheets um, that are in the model. So there's 55. Now, what we want to do is I want to grab, so this is going to go in and set all of them as pinned um, or unpinned, but I want to actually grab all the elements um, So let's see. I want to show you guys all the pin, like the pinned elements. So we'll use this node here, element pinned, and we will do a filter. So like, if you wanted all sheets to be unpinned, we could leave this as is, knowing that all of these except for one uh, are unpinned. We could just run this, but just for visual, I want to show you um, the pinned elements. So. We'll do filter, then we'll do a watch node right after this, and then we'll see that's our one pin element. It's that parking deck floor plan, which is this one right here. Now, if you want to, we could run it into this. I'm gonna set this to manual just in case. I do not want it to crash on us. So, um, run that we'll see that that just exports the element or not exports but it returns the element and now if we were to go back in here and then try to delete this you'll see that we can delete that sheet so it i don't know this is so rare this has only happened to me once uh when that bim specialist came uh um, came to me about the problem then yeah, that's really the only time I, I heard about this but you guys may see this you know at, at your firm if if you do it's pretty easy to fix um something else which i think is important is you can pin almost everything in the browser so you can pin sheets schedules views ledges detail groups system families model groups assemblies and keynotes um, they can't be deleted if they're pinned. Um, interestingly, if you pin a view, you can delete it by deleting the level. Um, that's going to bypass the pin and, and delete the view. Um, loadable families can be pinned. Um, but interestingly, when you try to delete a loadable family, so if you load in a family, you can pin it but you can't um uh, if you try to delete it it will get deleted so system families like if you try to delete certain ones th those aren't going to delete which makes sense but then your your loadable families those won't um those will get deleted if you try to uh views and all of those you can pin them but you can't delete them as soon as they're pinned which is kind of weird um attached detail groups so those can't be pinned, 
And uh, I think that has to do with the fact that it's kind of a nested thing. It's within the detail. So it's a detail groups or it's attached detail groups and those can't be pinned. However, details can be pinned. So uh, detail groups. Um, and that's kind of it for this video. So if you happen to run into this, you could have a script like this. And for that particular um, situation where that person found that, they did create a script and they ran that. And they were, uh, they just used it to quickly clean it up so they didn't have to manually go through. Uh, that's where I think Dynamo is really powerful and some people don't. Uh, see Dynamo that way. They may see it as this tool that they treat as a development tool, which is not always the best use. Uh, I'm a big fan of using it in one-off situations like this, uh, where they really didn't know how many elements were pinned. And so a quick script, you know, took two minutes to build this. You know, like this is a very common set of nodes. And then uh, this makes it really easy and you can just pass it directly into that. Um, we don't even need any of this really. But, um, and then they get it fixed and it's for that one use case and that's kind of really, that's it. There's strong ROI in that even if you're not using it on every single project. Um, but no, having that skill and being able to do that is really powerful. So anyways, aside from that, if you run into this issue, uh, check that, you know, use Revit lookup or click on the element, try to delete it. If it says it's pinned, then use Dynamo to unpin it or use the manual way, which is, I'm going to show you guys one more time. Click on the sheet, go to manage ID of selection. You can copy that. Um, and then if we go here, uh, paste it in here, okay, go to modify, now we can pin it or unpin it. Alright, cool. Well, that's all I got for this video. Um, I updated my like descriptions and I tried to organize it a little bit better. Um, let me know what you think about that and thanks a lot for watching.